in the heart of the West End, we're in Tottenham Court Road and just in front of me is the famous Dominion Tottenham Court Road that used to be an Ogin cinema many years ago. It was never called the Ogin, it was the Dominion and they had signed the music 70mm for years, South Pacific 70mm for years and many other 70mm features but it's now a theatre and Ogin have sold it or Rank, it's now Ogin Limited but before that it was Rank. But anyway, that's besides the point, just Coming back towards me now, to my right, which is your left viewing me, is the Ogin Tottenham Court Road. Now this used to be a classic, an ABC, an MGM, a Canon, and then recently when Ogin bought out um, ABC, in the second version of ABC, it was rebranded and called the Ogin Tottenham Court Road. Now this space is a little gold mine, it's three screens, some mechanic kind of Victoria 5s, 22 years old, I remember this cinema opening, it's a basement cinema. So here we are, we're going to go and see Rod in the projection room at the Ogin Tottenham Court Road. Oh, six years. Oh, six years, so you're quite established here. How long is this since you've been rebranded into an Ogin? Uh, we've been branded since uh, two years ago. Oh, two years two ago? Two years ago, in November. Wow. So in your six years here, it's been an, an MGM and a... Uh, it started off as a classic. Oh, and really? it went on to MGM, uh, ABC, and uh, Odeon. And yeah, I, I guess you're hoping now Odeon is not going to change. Uh, no, I think Odeon is here to stay. Oh, that's really, really nice. I like the rebranding outside of the cinema uh, because they're taking all that neon. You know that poster on the wall adjacent to your entrance? Mm -hmm the old classic uh, neon, that's all gone now, you just got posted there. It's all gone, yeah. yeah. It's just been replaced with uh, just the poster and that's lights. Right. That's right, because it. all that neon was very theatrical, wasn't it, as if you were in the cinema? It was, yeah, we had a lot of uh, regular customers that complained about the neons being taken down. Ah, uh, because uh, that was a Barry Jenkins special, wasn't it? Exactly, yeah. So. There's a lot of disgruntled customers and really? residents as well. They've, uh, they wanted to know why they weren't uh, consulted beforehand. <laughs> oh wow. Do you find here, because you're the only cinema on Tottenham Court Road, do you find you have a regular patronage? Uh, I think we do have a few regular patronage, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can't say much apart from the floor stuff, they seem to know yeah, the regulars are, yeah. I mean, we're stuck in the projection box. Yeah. But until Ogin taken over, you were basically like very art house, weren't you? We used to, yeah, we used to be our house. Uh, we used to show a lot of foreign films. Yes. But uh, once we got branded uh, ABC, we started showing mainstream films. Right. So, uh, and it's, uh, we still do blockbuster films and uh, all that. And it works well, doesn't it? It works well, yeah. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. We're now looking at Ogin 1. So you're going to be with us today. Oh, yeah. We've been to a few other spoons, well, we've been to two actually. We actually left the one in Leicester Square, didn't we, Steve? Yeah. On the way down yeah. to the Ocean Fund Club Road where we are now. And unfortunately, we bumped into another better spoon, didn't we? It's amazing, that. And we had to stop again. Camel anyway, we're here. And, the, and what the sad thing is, to get back to our tube to go to our relative way home, we got to go past another weather spoon. It's amazing, that. Well, it's the same one, but you know, we have to do it. Well planned. There you go, what can I say?
brass screen one and they've got a Vic 5 as we just saw and a Philips platter. You can see the cut off roller in case there's a snag on the feed off module. So looking on the left hand side of screen one projector. Here we see a manual rewinder. Screen one. Now in the distance over there is screen three. And this is screen two. And we can see we've got a Cinemechanica 1600 lamp house. Sorry, five. 
tell you what, it's nice, Rob, to see somebody taking care of a presentation. You yep. don't see that a lot now, that's really nice. Yep. So, have, have you been around the circuit a lot? I mean, you've been here six years, where were you before you came here? I uh, started off in uh, Oxford Street. Oh, right, classic Oxford Street? Uh, yeah. Uh, that was, was it four or five screens? Uh, five screens. And yeah. one of them had four track mag, didn't it? It did, yeah. That's right. Did you ever show four track mag? Uh, not myself, no. Oh, right, because I remember having the movie opened up there. Yeah. Because that's where Virgin is now, isn't it? Uh, down in the basement, yeah. That's right. Old Virgin, yeah. Yeah. So where have you been before that? Uh, well, I started off there at uh, Oxford Street. Yes. And I went on to uh, do relief at Trocadero. Oh, yeah, we've been in there with uh, John. Haymarket. Yes. Chelsea. Uh, Harrow. Oh, right. Crowley, Hammersmith. Oh, Hammersmith. Oh, done Hammersmith. Yeah, yeah. nice setup. Uh, some of the places I can't remember. <laughs> so you, you've got a vast experience then? Uh, I have, yeah. I mean, I've been with the company now for about 11 years. Oh, fantastic. Uh, here I am, permanent. Here Staying you are in the West End. Yeah. The high to show business. I like the West End, yeah. Oh, it's nice, it's isn't it? Do you ever get any famous people coming in here, Rod? Uh, we've had a few. Uh, I've not seen them personally. Have you been told who we had in? Uh, I don't remember the names, but uh, some British uh, actors and actresses. Yes. Uh, one of them that starred in... Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, no, it's no problem at all. Do you ever have any special shows, multimedias and things like this, special one-offs? Uh, no, we don't. Only for... Uh, Press previews. And, yeah, uh, that's Sunday morning or in the evenings? Uh, normally during the morning or yeah. during the day for just the one show. Right, so it's quite exciting working here. Uh, it is, yeah. Oh, I that's fabulous. It. Do you ever get any directors coming in? Uh, no, we don't. Oh, that's <laughs> a shame. But, I mean, you are you're in the hub of, of the West End here. We are, I mean, yeah. you've got the Dominion on the other side of the road and Leicester Square a couple of minutes away. It must be really exciting for you. It is, yeah. I mean, everything is so close by. Yes. Uh, uh, do you get your prints delivered by hand? We do, yeah. The main distributors, they turn yeah. films around, yeah. That's right. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's easy for us to get all the films uh, to short notice. Yes. Uh, whereas if we was outside the West End, we would have to wait uh, fairly quite a long time. That's right. I mean, I mean, let's be honest, in the West End it is rather special. Being out in the suburbs is good, don't get me wrong, anybody might see this. But in the West End it is special. It is special, yeah. I mean, it's like the hub of the industry in the UK, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, we cater mainly for students. We've got the university nearby. Oh, which one's that, Rod? Uh, I think it's the University of London. Oh, right, OK. Uh, uh, we also get a lot of tourists. Yes, of course. During the day, during the evening. Uh, gives them a break. <laughs> yeah, I love shopping it. and uh, doing all the tourist sightseeing. Yeah, and the fact is, you are the only cinema in this area. Uh, we are apart from uh, Covent Garden, Shaftesbury yeah, Avenue. Yeah, that's, that's, that's mainly mainstream films, art house. Yes. Foreign. It's so, good. <laughs> that's fabulous. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So that's screen two we've left over there. Rod's put on a beautiful show. And we've passed winders and a work area. And we have screen three. Now I've made a bit of a boo-boo here and I've just said this is screen three. And Rod just corrected me because I was totally incorrect. Here at screen one, and I went on to say that that was screen two. In fact, that's a screen three. So we leave three and we go over back to Rod and that is screen two over there where you can see Spider and Rod looking at the projector. Okay Rod, now we're over in screen two now I've got this right. Screen two is in the corner. What's the film showing in here today? Uh, what's the screen two and we're showing uh, Ocean's Eleven. Oh excellent! So you, you really got mainstream films here. Uh, we do, yeah. Yeah. And um, what other major release have we got playing here? Uh, we've Monsters? Mm, no, we 
I'm sure most is incorporated. Oh, it's come off, has it? Uh, no, we haven't shown it now. We're, we're, we're advertising for the uh, poster outside. Oh, that's coming soon. So, uh, well, at, at the moment, it's only out at the uh, West End. Right. It's the Odeon Leicester Square. And then many finishes there will come here. Uh, no, no, not here. But. Oh, you're just advertising for Monsters Outside. Uh, oh, I understand. We don't, we, we don't normally cater for um, films for children because we don't get a lot of children in the oh, area. Of course, so yes. We don't, we don't really show children's films. Now, that makes sense. I mean, really, for West End, it's not a children environment, is it? Uh, no, I think mainly the West End itself in the centre. Yes. And the boroughs. Uh, the outskirts of the uh, West End. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, I've always thought in the West End it's for adults, for movie-minded people, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, like I said earlier, mainly for the uh, students, which are just a few streets away from here. There's a lot of uh, student residences, and uh, also for the uh, tourists who hang around the area. Oh, of course, yes. That's fabulous. So here we are, screen three, and we have another Victoria Fire Projector. The Phillips Classic. for the automation, the auto shutdown. What's nice about this box is you've got the three projectors in the one box. Oh. <laughs> is that one has to go So just to refresh, we've got screen one with digital. Screen three, optical, little red LED. Likewise, screen two, nice projection room. And this is their very pleasant rest area. Just coming to a close. How long have you got between houses, Rod? Uh, it's 
about 10 minutes. Oh, right, so it's... On this one. Yes. It varies in all three screens. Right. Sometimes you may have a longer interval or a yes. shorter interval. Uh-huh. And this one's a short interval, 10 minutes. Sure. So it's a quick wipe down of the projector and lace up again. Yeah, just make sure we're getting rid of all the uh, dust and... Absolutely. ...fluff and all that. I see. Is that a jack slide you've got in there? Sorry? Is that a jack slide for the optical? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a jack slide. Yeah. Uh, so you've just got SR in two and three and digital in number one? Uh, that's right, yeah. Uh, is there any plans of digital in two and three? Uh, not at the moment, no. I don't uh, right. Yeah, just, but just yeah. looking into your auditorium, I think it's a beautiful auditorium. It's very theatrical, very cinema. Oh, yeah. The nice red seats and the blue tabs. I think the, uh, the curtains give it the uh, theatre atmosphere. They do, that's beautiful. But I haven't seen that many cinemas in the West End where they do have tabs. Well, the main ones do, but a lot of the other yeah, ones yeah. stay on to your right, you know. But I think that looks really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, seating is uh, to be planned for uh, changing as well. Oh, really? We've still got the old ABC seats. Never. So, uh, soon enough we'll have uh, brand new blue seats. Oh lovely. Is number three the smallest of the three cinemas? Uh, it's the smallest one. Yeah. yeah, number one obviously is the biggest uh, one. It's the biggest one, yeah. Excellent. Do you, when you open up a film here, do you tend to move from one to two to three? Or do you just open up in new films in either one, two or three? Um, uh, it depends. If we, uh, we have a new film, then films do move from one screen to the they other. They do, yes. Uh, yeah. well, if it's a very popular film, then it just stays put in one screen. Yeah. And then we'll just concentrate on the other two and then we'll yeah. move them around all. Well, I can see you're timing yourself that it's start screen two again, but while you're waiting to start, can I can ask you, how, when was the cinema actually opened? It was opened in 1980. So it was 22 years old? 22 years old. Yeah. I remember this when it opened, that's amazing. A long time ago. <laughs> I know, God, and I remember it.
there we have a spider. What are you looking at, spider? Lovely spotlights on the wall, lined up lovely to put light on the platter. Oh yeah, excellent. I mean, just coming in this box, first time I came in this box, probably not long after it opened up, so as Rod just told us 22 years ago, it's really a nice box, isn't it? Yeah, hey, it's lovely. You know, to work a three screener, with one projection room, as cozy as this. It's probably one of the easiest in London, though. And one, probably one of the nicest ones, you yeah, know? as well. When, I, when I was last in here, it had towers. Right. They, they've changed case stands. So. Yeah. And just seeing Rod doing everything, it's completely manual here, isn't it? And it's nice to see Rod actually doing presentation. Oh, it's great. Fantastic. Yeah, that's, you know, it's something you don't see a lot now, isn't it? It's fantastic. But if you know, there's a there's a AL92 waiting to go in there. So What's an AL92? Uh, shutdown unit, E-pass. Oh, right, yes. So and then the sequence thing. End sequence. Yeah. yeah. That was very technical of me, wasn't it? End of sequence thing. So an end sequence, I should have said. An end sequence. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell the spider and I have been to a few weather spoons this afternoon? Just, a, just the old one or two. Just as well. We haven't seen each other for about... Three weeks? Three weeks. Yeah. But no, I think it's a nice box. I mean, spiders organised this visit, so thank you. Well, what can I say? It's been absolutely really nice coming to your projection room. It's probably 22 years since I've last been here because I came in here when it first opened. And 22 years, I can't remember too much about it. What a lovely projection room you've got. Yeah, and it's nice to see projectionists. Actually, you know, you, you seem to care what you do. You're putting on a show. This is really nice. So thank you very much for letting me come in and film your room. Thank you. Thank you.